light is red for cars, but it just, the pedestrian signal just turned on and you can see cyclists can start going and they get here about a five to eight second head start. It varies by intersection. And now they are cleared of the intersection before all these drivers go. There's no risk of them getting a right hook of drivers turning into them. So we're here at Atlantic and Smith Street. So this is where the DOT installed some of the first legally available LPIs for bicyclists. These are called leading pedestrian intervals. That allows that you get a head start at the pedestrian level. So you can actually start walking before the traffic goes next to you. The LPI bill just started because I was seeing what cyclists were doing out on the streets. So I would stop at intersections like this and notice that some cyclists would go on the walk signal, which turned for pedestrians before the signal turned for drivers. And I said, okay, so people are doing this. Why don't we make it legal? And I wrote a blog post in 2015 and got shared around and it made its way to Carlos's office. We proposed the law uh, in 2016 and we started working with the Department of Transportation and the NYPD. What we're doing is allowing for bicyclists to use that same light to cross the intersection as they go in front of the vehicles. It took a long time to make that happen. We ended up putting together a study that allowed for certain intersections to show us what would happen. But we knew that it was gonna be safe. Here I am going down 34th Avenue in Queens and I'm about to show you the first time I'll be able to legally cross under a red light. Because you see that there, that's the pedestrian signal. I now get to use that. When the crosswalk goes, cyclists are able to go, like right now. There we go, we got somebody going right through the light, but everybody else has to wait. And now the light goes green for cars and they can now go. We believe that there are over 4,000 LPIs now and we're really excited because we want everybody to know. So if you're at an intersection and you're waiting for an LPI to go, let everybody know. Uh, and we want that to happen in the intersections so that people understand that they are legally able to cross safely. We're trying to save lives at a time when more cyclists are actually riding the streets right now because of COVID. You go to a lot of ribbon cuttings for new infrastructure, but you don't go to a lot of ribbon cuttings for new laws. You know, the beautiful thing I think about the law is that it didn't require any infrastructure change. It just required retiming the lights. And so it was really one of the easiest lifts that the city could do in terms of keeping cyclists safe. If you have an idea, bring it to your council member. It works. The kernel of inspiration was someone like Doug, understanding culture in the front of the change in culture, watching how cyclists engage and saying that needs to be legal.